some of these motors have rings down in here that you got to take out first, but this one doesn't. So it doesn't apply, but some of them have rings in here. You got to pound them out or get a special tool to, to, to twist to, to get it out. And then you can pull it. Here's how I got the bearing carrier out of this Evinrude V6 gear case. What I did was I rented a two jaw puller. This one's rated up to five tons. And then I got these stainless shackles. I'll show you them. They don't have to be stainless, but these can do 1,400 pounds. I don't know. I didn't have to put that much pressure on it because it wasn't stuck or anything. But if your lower unit's really stuck, I don't know how well this will work. It might bend or break things, but it might bend these probably bend these. You got to put heat on it. But this might work. If it's not stuck, it'll come right out like this, but I got a section of chain that I just had laying around. I didn't want to cut it cuz I'm going to use it for something else. But this is how you rig it up. You put these on here like this and then put these through. And then put the chain on here and here. But before you do all that, you're gonna have to. It's gonna be kind of hard to show. You're gonna have to feed this down in here and then flip it around and put the chain through there and then put the bolt through it. And I'll show you what it looks like all rigged up. I had the jaws put back on this, but y'all might need to put grade 8 bolts here instead if it's a saltwater motor, if it's really stuck. Looks like with the puller set up, I got the excess chain back here. And I got those shackles down in there. Like that. And that's resting right on there. Now these shackles might not work because I had they had a bigger size and then they had these ones which was the next size down so I got these but this isn't going to work for every motor. You might have to get a shackle or a quick link. This is a 3 8 inch quick link but if you get a half inch one it would be a lot stronger and it will fit through that chain and you cut this right here. You have to cut it, cut it here and then cut it right here and then use that instead down in there to pull it but if this is if it's really stuck I don't I don't know if it, that'll work if this will work or that I mean this would probably be better than that because these are probably open up if you gotta put a ton of pressure on it and you're gonna have to heat it here with the propane torch don't use the acetylene it's too hot you'll melt it heat it here or where is it down here where the o-ring is and you'll toast the o-ring by doing this but you gotta replace it anyway so heat it here on both sides while applying pressure and you're gonna wanna get some PB blaster and spray it down in here spray it in here all the way around and then down in there same spot all the way around to break the corrosion. You gotta have to heat it here too to break that corrosion. If it's a salt water motor, like I said, I don't know if this will work, this method will work, but it's worth a shot because the the tool to do is like 80 or 90 bucks without shipping, so it's worth it to try it. But what you do is you just wrench on it. I'm not going to do this because it's all, it's all bolted back up, but you wrench on it and it should start slowly pulling it out. Um, what else? Yeah, spray some. You might have to let it sit overnight with some oil, heat it, tap it a little bit, you know, with a hammer, not hard, and uh, eventually it'll come out, but... Yeah, it can be a real pain, if especially if it's a salt motor.
Yeah, this worked well. There's no corrosion on this lower unit at all. It just pulled straight out. I mean, I didn't even, I didn't even have to put any pressure on it. I just wrenched on it. It came right out. So here's the setup one more time. And this is grade 8 chain. But see, I just took the jaws. Normally, you know, it comes with these jaws on it. But I didn't use these because those won't work. They're not going to fit down in there. So, and they're, they're, well, they're not long enough to begin with. See, that's the right there. They're not long enough to begin with, so. That's why I went with the chain method. I mean, you can buy an extra long uh, gear puller, but it's going to be a pain to get that down in there. And if it pulls out and the amount of pressure you have to put on it, I'll, you can probably damage the bearing carrier. Now, some of these lower units, they have uh, holes drilled and tapped in them right here, and you can put threaded rod through a, threaded rod through a harmonic balancer puller, and that'll work for the smaller motors but like these big ones at least this one it's a 86 Evinrude 150 XP it doesn't have anything all it has is it doesn't have any tapped holes at the top to get a, a rod in there to pull it but yeah try it out see if it works it's worth a shot it's better than buying the friggin tool oh before you pull it one more thing before you pull it make sure you take those bolts out take those four bolts out don't try to pull it with those in you'll break something because there's a you'll never get it out because there's two big snap rings down in there and in order to get you got to take those bolts out pull the pull the bearing carrier out and then take the snap rings out to get to the gears there's two big snap rings but don't try to pull it with those bolts in. You'll you'll destroy it. So if you're having a hard time, take the bolts out. All right, like and subscribe if this helped y'all out. Thanks.